and um, Bishop D4. D4. Is going to be played. I'm giving it a 99% chance. Although with Magnus, you never truly know. Bishop D4, there's one more trick to avoid. Fabi can make the devilish move Rook B4. Oh, he blunders the pawn of the skewer. <laughs> White's winning on <up> Rook <laughs> F4 check. This just shows that you can never relax, and those words aren't just a meaningless cliche. They're true. But in this position, Bishop E3 results in complete domination. Look at how the bishop and the pawn dominate the king. And now black can win in one of several ways. The easiest is actually just to bring the king up to D5 and only then to capture the pawn on C5. But Magnus has to find the move Bishop E3 in response to Rook B4. He, okay, here he goes. Yeah, it looked like he was about to make a move. I think Bishop D4 about... And look at the intense focus on Magnus's face as Bishop D4 appears on the board. <laughs> yep, and Fabi is definitely going to go Rook B4. I can almost guarantee it. And after Bishop E3, I think he's going to resign. Amended prediction. And uh, yeah, you Have can you see it? from Fabi's face, actually, yeah. oh, the resignation here. happening right there and we have a new champion magnus carlson is the winner of this 2022 tata steel chess tournament congratulations to the world champion